everybody. Today we're going to draw a peacock. Step one. It curves up and down. Next step. It curves down and up. and down it curves down and down next step is an oval and a circle Diagonal and go, goes down and down. Diagonal, diagonal, and it curves down. Next step, it curves down and down. We're going to continue this line and it curves down and down. Next step, it curves down, 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 and down. I'm going to do an oval, 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 and oval. Here's some feathers on the peacock. Down and up, down and up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, 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 down, up. Down, down, up, down. Next step, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, and down, up, down. Next step. Here are the tail feathers. Diagonal, diagonal. Diagonal, 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 diagonal. Next step. Now the peacock has beautiful feathers. Put some diagonals. Goes down 
goes down, down, diagonal, down, down, and down. I'm going to do an oval. An oval. Another oval. Now these are called eye spots. And eye spots confuse predators. And sometimes a predator would be trying to kill a peacock, but they see all of these eye spots, which look a little bit like eyes, and sometimes they'll strike the eye spot in, instead of the eye. Because if you destroy the eye of your prey, it's more likely that you'll be successful in killing them. So I think that Mother Nature gave peacocks these eye spots to make them less vulnerable to their predators. Okay, we're going to do another oval inside the oval. And there's another one here. Now, inside this shape, this second, well, it's actually one, two, the third oval, is a shape that's round at the top, but it goes diagonal, diagonal. And you might want to Google peacock feather if you don't have one. A lot of people don't have peacock feathers. I have a lot of them because my friend has a lot of peacocks at her house. And when I go to visit her, she lets me pick up the feathers and bring them home. And since I'm an art teacher, I take them to school and students decorate mask with the peacock feathers, which really look good on the mask. Okay, so I have one, two, three uh, ovals. Now I'm going to go up and down. Make it go around a little bit more. And then we go diagonal, diagonal. But you can Google peacock feathers and see what these eye spots look like. When we draw these peacock feathers in class sometimes, I'll put a feather on every table so that my students can draw them looking at the real thing. So once you get the hang of this, you've got a bigger oval, a smaller oval, and then a lot smaller oval. And then you have that shape inside which is round at the top, and then it has two little diagonals that cut inside. These eye spots have a variety of colors in them, so that's why I'm suggesting that you look at one on the internet before you add color to them.
Now, here are more details for the feathers. Sometimes we use the eye spots to decorate masks, but then we save the quills because the quills are perfect for making magic wands. And now you don't have to kill a peacock to collect their feathers because they drop their feathers and then they grow more. And we have these lines that Now we take those quills, and here's your quill, and we wrap it with ribbon so it looks like this. And then we tape it at the bottom, we tape it at the top, and then we, we, we take a lot of ribbons and um, we tape them together on the ends, like here's a bunch of ribbons. And we tape them together right here and then we tape those ribbons here and so you have this mag awesome magic wand which has lots of ribbons on it and that quill is pretty strong it'll bend a little bit but if you're gentle with it it shouldn't break but anyway that's how we make a magic wand in my class using the quills from the peacock feathers We're kind of like the Native Americans. Native Americans, whenever they've taken something from nature, like whether they kill a deer or whatever they are taking from nature, they uh, use everything, every part of any animal from nature. They don't waste anything. So we kind of do that with our peacock feathers. We don't, we don't waste the quills. We use them the eye spots to decorate our mask, but we save those quills and make our magic wands. But you know, there's a lot of cool things you can make, just say like from a cereal box. After you finish your cereal, you can save the box and take it apart so that it's flat, and then you can cut it and tape it to create all kinds of things. So. I like doing that because I don't like wasting things. Here we go. Lots and lots of these diagonals. If you go on eBay, I bet you could buy some, some peacock feathers and uh, you can use the eye spots to decorate masks or headbands, whatever you're making, out of cardboard. And then you can save that quill and make your magic wand with it. And there you have it. There's your peacock. Thanks, everybody.